to continue with our ingredient series and as promised we're coming today with almond oil sweet almond oil because there is I think there's like a bitter type of almond oil but this is sweet almond oil um, if you have not checked out my previous videos on different ingredients make sure you click the little information button somewhere <laughs> in this video and it will show you all the videos that we've done so far or look in the description box and you can check out the videos too the these ingredients are in your everyday products that you use so you do want to know some information about it and then also you can use these ingredients alone um, in your mix your spritz bottle um, in your little concoctions you can use it um, to create your own products so it's really good to know like what these things do to your hair well, sweet almond oil can be compared to coconut oil because it's a light oil so when you use it as a pre-poo, it's okay to put it directly on your hair and scalp and put a plastic cap on there and, you know, keep it on for about 30 minutes or so and then go in with your normal wash day. And it's okay to do that um, because, again, it's a pre-poo and you're washing it out and you're going to get all those amazing benefits of having sweet almond oil in your hair. It's a great oil to mix with other oils. Um, it's a carrier oil. Um, so you can use it with olive oil and castor oil. And it will make an amazing concoction for your hair. You will notice that your hair will be stronger. It'll be, actually, it'll have a sheen to it. I actually use sweet almond oil on my hair. I used it in my spritz bottle. Another way you can use sweet almond oil is you can use it as kind of like a deep conditioning treatment or a protein treatment at the same time. I have a recipe for you and I'll put that um, graphic right here. You can mix jojoba oil with the sweet almond oil and yeah and then use one egg yolk because of course eggs have protein and then these oils um the sweet almond oil has protein as well because it's it's a protein it's nuts you know we eat nuts for protein so of course this oil has protein as well um so it's kind of like a protein treatment and deep conditioning treatment so you mix um and I'll have the exact measurements on the graphic because I do not remember the measurements. Um, but you mix those three ingredients together. And then you um, mix in some warm water. Warm water. <laughs> Let me stress that again. Warm water. W-A-R-M. Warm water. Because if you use hot water, of course, that's going to kind of cook the egg. So you don't want that to happen. So once you have the oils, the yolk, and the warm water nice and mixed up. Then you can just pour that onto your strands um, and it will really get into your strands. Put this on for about 15 to 30 minutes with a plastic cap because you don't want it to be super messy or anything. Put a plastic cap on and then you can just rinse it out and your hair, the elasticity of your hair should be like crazy. Um, and your hair will just be just amazing. You will see a nice shine to it. Like coconut oil, almond oil is a great sealant. But again, I don't recommend you use it directly on your hair. You can try it out, but for me, I don't like using it directly on my hair. So using this in like a um, spritz would be really good. You can mix this with castor oil. And if you think of castor oil, as soon as I think of castor oil, I think of length. Like everyone says that castor oil makes your hair grow. Well, so does sweet almond oil. So if you mix those two together, it's like a magical combination. And also, a lot of people don't like the smell of castor oil because it has that like burnt scent. Well, sweet almond oil has a kind of like a sweet scent. 
yeah it's kind of like a sweet scent so if you add this to castor oil then it should tone down the scent like tremendously so again that's another awesome combination and you know adding the olive oil wouldn't hurt as well so those three work really good together so if you have an issue with split ends um, and you don't want to keep getting trims like all the time. It's known that sweet almond oil actually helps mend those split ends. So you may be able to skip a trim one month or something. Uh, there's vitamins A, B1, B6, magnesium, and also, like I said earlier, protein. So there's so many nutrients and vitamins in this oil. So it has to be great for our hair, right? Um, and just like all the other ingredients and oils that we've talked about, all of these great things that it does for our hair basically promotes growth, new growth. Um, it helps with moisture. It heals the split ends. Your hair will be super shiny and just look so vibrant. Um, so yeah, this is a great oil to add to your collection. And of course, like I say always, just make sure you do kind of like an allergy test before you start using this type of oil. Get up on my way home. Um, but overall, it's amazing. I don't see any um, thing wrong with this oil except, like I said, for my hair, I can't use it directly on my hair unless it's a pre-poo um, or like a deep conditioning type of deal where I have to rinse it out and it'll still reap the benefits from the oil. Um, so I don't know if, you know, if it's like that for everyone, but I like to give that suggestion. As you guys know, you know, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. So if you have this potent oil where even though it's a lighter oil um it still can be really heavy and it can clog your pores and all of that um so i just like getting the benefits out of it and then rinsing it out rinsing it out you know what i mean um but anyway i hope you guys learned a thing or two about sweet almond oil again check out my previous videos about all the different other oils that we touched on but yeah i'll come to you guys with another video the next one we're going to be doing is jojoba oil. I remember when I first went natural, I called it jojoba oil. Because it do looks like jojoba. <laughs> but it's jojoba oil. But yes, we'll be talking about that in our next video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, girls. Mwah. If you are not following my website definitely head over to www.etcblogmag.com i have an entire new website now where everything is housed in one area